Yo, what up? It's Benjamin D'Souza here, back with another vid. And uh, I just want to give a recap of an excellent stream that I listened to earlier today by Game Changer 00100 called The Trust Factor. I recommend you go check that out. And in the stream, you know, he was laying out why black women have trust issues with the black men and he stated that one of one of the reasons why they do have these trust issues as it pertains to black men is due to propaganda uh, first in the literature and then later in the cinema you know citing that one of the er most earliest most earliest but one of the earliest movies created in the United States was The Birth of a Nation, which we all know the premise of that. And uh, to be honest with you, as far as the reason why black women have trust issues as it pertains to black men, As far as I'm concerned, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And I'll tell you why. First off, I made a video maybe a year or so ago called uh, Tell Me Something I Don't Know. And it was inspired by a song by the rapper FBG Duck. Ironically enough, the title of the song was Tell Me Something I Don't Know. Basically, the premise of the song was bitches coming to him complaining about past relationships and the problems that they had with their baby daddies, ex-boyfriends, etc., etc., and laying that at the feet of him. And he's saying, oh my God, this shit again? Tell me something I don't know. I say that to say this. This is a pattern that I've noticed with black women. They like to come with a whole bunch of sob stories. Sometimes these sob stories are legit. Sometimes these, these sob stories are totally fabricated. Oh, my baby daddy ain't shit. Oh, my baby daddy did this. My ex-boyfriend didn't do that. My daddy didn't come to my fourth grade ballerina recital. You know, my uncle touched me when I was in the, the seventh grade. All this shit, man. And they just laid it. They just dumped this bullshit at your motherfucking feet. In my opinion, in my observation, that's just a, that's, that's just a smoke bomb. That they're throwing out. They're, they're essentially giving themselves cover fire. For the in, for the ensuing fuckery. For the fuckery that's about to ensue. They're just giving themselves cover fire. So they can. Move their fuckery a little bit further up. So you know. Beware. Beware fellas. When you talking, when you're dealing with a chick and she's, you know, talking all this shit about past relationships and telling you about her daddy issues, whether they're true or just contrived, made up and all the other shit, regardless, she's trying to lay a template. She's basically saying, listen, I'm about to act a complete ass. And you really can't hold me responsible for acting like a complete ass and a total bitch because I told you that I have trust issues because of all the things my ex-boyfriends and my baby daddies and my daddy did to me. So, you know, strap in, hold on tight. <laughs> you better get ready because hey, you about to go on a ride. You dating a bitch and she always complaining about baby daddies and ex-boyfriends and 
males that she knows and all that she talking all that shit boy look look you better fasten your seatbelt and that and that harness you know that roller coaster harness you better pull that motherfucker down and check it and make sure it's locked because uh yeah your ass about to go on a ride Another thing, fellas. Oh, you know what? The excellent thing that he did say is, you know, he, he brought I will I will concede that to some degree, yes, media, whether it's written or cinema, has played a role. In molding the minds of black women and molding their perception of black men. I will concede that point. I will. And I'll say, I'll say that to say this. Fellas, when you're dealing with these chicks, pick their brain. You know, try to see what movies resonates with them. What move, You know what I mean? So... If the movie Color Purple and Wait and Takes Hell, you know, you bring those movies up and they go, yes, bitch. <laughs> run, run for the hills, bruh. Run for the hills. <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> The reason why I really don't give them too much wiggle room as far as the propaganda is concerned is because black men have a higher success rate as far as marriage is concerned, as far as really dating is concerned, period. And that goes for not only dating and marrying black women, but also white women, Latin women, and um, Asian women, and as Game Changer says, Oriental women as well. <laughs> so, why, if, if, if the propaganda is that much of a factor as far as the contention that black women have for black men why hasn't that been more uh, how you say prevalent with other groups of women For all the bad propaganda, for all the bad propaganda that has been spread about black men, as far as us being bad mates, bad fathers, and just bad men overall, why is it that? We're still relatively successful in the dating market compared to, uh, we're more successful in the dating market compared to black women. Why is that? That's why I say that it's bullshit. I think that it's an excuse. It's just an excuse. It's an excuse to justify them using the mechanisms, the societal mechanisms that have been provided to them by outside forces that they can use 
to try to um, how you say uh, marginalize black men it's what it is because when we come to them and, and, and we say black woman you supposed to be our women why the fuck are you divorcing us at such a high rate? Why are you putting us on child support at such a high rate? Why are you just being such a, a total bitch at such a high... Why are you doing all this? Well, you see, it's because we don't trust you. Uh, that's why. Well, how come you don't trust us? Well, it's because, uh, you know, the color purple, uh, you know... The, 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 uh, uh, waiting to exhale and you know um, Oprah Winfrey and you know Ricky Lake and all that shit and Mary J. Blige and all th- Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's, it's an excuse It's an excuse. Because really, when you draw the shit all the way out, there's really no good goddamn reason that they got to act the way they act towards us. There's no reason whatsoever. I've said this before and I'll say this again as far as you brothers listening to my channel pay very close attention to your social media pay very close attention to you know when these uh, black women make posts and comments and whatnot. The rhetoric that they use when they're relaxed and they feel comfortable is no different than the rhetoric that a uh, bigot, bigoted, racist white person would use. No difference. No difference. Whenever, whenever they make posts and comments and memes. It, of, of the such about black men they always refer to you as nigga or boy I like dark skin niggas light skin niggas is this why niggas always doing that why niggas is doing this niggas ain't shit they always refer to you as nigga or boy when they talk to you, boy, little boy, when they want to be extra disrespectful, they, they, they throw that little on in front of that boy. Little boy, the only time they refer to you as a man is when they want you to do something for their ass. You a man, you supposed to do that. Well, wait a minute. Just 10 minutes ago, you was calling me a little boy. <laughs> now that you making the case for me to do something for your funky ass now all of a sudden I'm a man every other day I'm a nigga or a little boy but now all of a sudden I'm a man okay okay eerily similar to a uh, a racist bigot where you going boy what you doing boy <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I've said it before, I've, and I'm hearing a lot of content creators starting to uh, catch on to that. I've been saying this shit for some time now. The racist, bigoted white man and the uh, and the black woman 
hand in hand. It's no, it's no difference. No difference. Between the two. The only difference is, is gender and skin color. And hair texture. That's it. As far as I'm concerned, I don't give a fuck why they don't trust us. Question is... The, the real question is, why are we even still trusting them? That's the real question. Why the fuck are we even concerning ourselves with why they don't trust us? What we need to do is put a microscope on their ass and ask the question why are we still trusting them? That's the real question.